With everyone currently in Onslaught trying to get their 50 waves done and getting the gold rolls that they want, more and more secrets and strategies are being found on how to get 50 waves done as fast as possible and also as easy as possible. So in today's video, I'm going to give you three amazing tips that Bungie is hiding from you and that they didn't tell you about that you can take advantage of right now to help you get legendary 50 waves completed. I'm not sure if these three techniques are exploits or whatnot, but they definitely help you out in the future. Now, the first tip that I just found out just a few minutes ago, I found while aimlessly scrolling through Reddit. Now, this video here that I'm going to show you in just a minute is posted by the user KurtGameXP to Reddit just a few hours ago. Now, he is claiming that you can actually heal your defenses in Onslaught with the pickup batteries. So pretty much in this clip here, he is picking the battery up and then constantly throwing it at his defense decoy and then picking it back up. Now, I was a bit unsure of this in the first clip and I was a bit skeptical if this even works, but if you slow the video down and you watch it, it definitely is working. At the very start of the video here, you can actually see that this defense is flashing red, which means it is on low health. Now, once he picks the ball up and constantly throws it at it, each time the ball hits the defense, you can actually hear the ADU healing sound. Once the video ends, you can also see that the defense is no longer flashing red and it is actually at full health now, or close to. Another argument to say that this isn't working is that every 10 rounds when a boss spawns, all the defenses get healed to full health. But as you can see on the left here, this is only actually in round 8, meaning that these things aren't going to spawn up to full health when the boss round happens. So maybe you should consider taking this into your next onslaught and just knowing that you can actually heal your defenses by constantly throwing the ball at them. Now the second tip I'm sure a few people know but not everyone knows about yet and it is that you can constantly pick up and throw balls and basically infinitely generate ADU batteries to heal your defenses and obviously the ADU. This is very easily done by any hunter class with a dodge. All you have to do is throw the ball and then dodge but you can actually also do it with any other class. The easiest way to do this is throw the ball and then quickly switch weapons and then pick the ball back up. It's very easy to do. You can usually get at least four to five of these batteries thrown before it bugs out and you screw up the rotation. It'll probably take you a few attempts before you can constantly generate more ADU batteries, but in the meantime, Bungie hasn't said anything about it, so you may as well take advantage of it to heal your ADU up. And the third tip is don't purchase any defenses except for your decoys unless you have some spare scrap. Getting a tier 3 decoy, or also known as a shack stand, is the best defense that you can get in order to get round 50. I'm sure you're probably thinking the turrets and the trip mines are pretty good because they kill enemies, but in all honesty, in those higher rounds when you get 40 plus, having a decoy to distract the enemy so that you can kill them is much more important. The best class to run a 50 wave onslaught is Hunter with Morpheus Rig to obviously CC the adds with Tether. Having a rank 3 Shax decoy is very similar to this. It distracts them, but it obviously just doesn't weaken them with the tether. Depending on what map you're doing the legendary 50 onslaught on, if you have multiple Shax decoys around the map, when the enemies spawn, they can actually be lured to the other old ADU decoy while you're defending your main one that is the current ADU. Over the past couple days, I have been struggling to actually get my legendary 50 wave done, but as soon as I started implementing this tactic and only buying rank three Shax decoys, I've been doing legendary 50 runs every single hour. So pretty much here, the moral of the story is spend your scrap on decoys before you buy any other defenses. But anyway, guardians, there is three tips with the onslaught that Bungie doesn't want you to know about. I hope you guardians take full advantage of this and you obviously get your shiny god rolls over the next few days. But anyway, guardians, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.